Welcome back to The World Tonight. We'll leave you with some good news now. And Atlanta University is clearing some hefty student account balances to help students continue their education through the coronavirus pandemic. BNC's Ayana Crystal has the details. I'm happy. I'm excited for us to return to campus. Students are getting a fresh start. Clark Atlanta University is clearing account balances from spring 2020 through summer 2021. This is providing a lot of relief for students from their account balances so that they can get enrolled in classes. We wanted to let them know we understand that it's been difficult. We understand that you've had some financial challenges. We understand that many students, Ayana, were not going to be able to return for the fall because of outstanding balances. So we decided to use $2 million of uh, CARES uh, uh, Act money as well as some institutional funds to zero balance all of our students who had balances. Helping out 900 students, at least 11 other HBCUs are using federal dollars towards reducing student debt. This has been a really tough year for people I know financially in every type of way, um, especially since it's the HBCU. I'm really happy that we're able to have that opportunity. Uh, we think they deserve um, some relief. So our opportunity to provide that relief was very, very important and very consistent with who we are here at Delaware State University. In May, Delaware State University canceled more than $730,000 worth of debt for recent graduates. And with the CARES Act, they have used $9 million to help their students. So it was a real opportunity for us to say to them, look, we know you're trying to change the economic trajectory for yourselves, uh, your families, and your communities. It's our responsibility to do as much as we can to make sure that that happens. And uh, we were fortunate enough to have the resources to do that. According to data from the National Center for Education Statistics, black graduates have an average of $52,000 in student loan debt. That's about $25,000 more on average than the debt of their white counterparts. Students are hoping more HBCUs join in on canceling account balances during this very difficult time. I think many more HBCUs will be making the same decision. I think we're one of the most consequential institutions in America, and uh, we have to act that way and make sure that we're doing everything for our students so that they can get to that finish line. HBCUs across the country have received $5 billion through the CARES Act. Now it's up to those universities to determine how they want to use those funds. And students I spoke to are so grateful that their university is helping lift some of that financial burden. In Atlanta, Ayanna Crystal for BNC.